Hi friends, this is your ANR sir, welcoming you to ANR Academy. Today we will learn how to remove to given in a sentence. Today we will learn how to remove to in a sentence. So now, to is an adverb. It is used in both positive and negative sense. To is an adverb and it may be used to give a positive or a negative meaning. When it is used to give a positive meaning, it means also. When it is used to give a positive sense, it means also. For example, I too attended my classes yesterday. That means yesterday, some children attended their classes. I also attended. I also attended my classes. Besides being a good dancer, Susi is a good singer too. So there, in place of T O O two, we can use also. That means Susi is a dancer and a singer also. Susi is a good dancer and a good singer also. So now let us see the meaning of TOO2 when it is used to give a negative sense. When 2 is used to give a negative sense, it means excessive or more than what is required or proper. Let me tell you again. When 2 is used to give a negative sense it means excessive or more than what is required or proper. For example, Krish is too intelligent. At times you say he is too intelligent. We should not think that it is a positive comment. It is a negative comment. That means he is more intelligent that you should be. He is more intelligent than he should be. Clear? More intelligent than he should be. When to gives a positive meaning, we cannot transform that sentence. We cannot transform that sentence means what? We cannot change that sentence from simple to complex, complex to compound or compound to simple. Like that we cannot change. Whereas when to gives a negative meaning, we can change from simple to complex and complex to compound and compound to simple like that for example. A nurser is too weak to ride a cycle, but I ride, but I ride a cycle at the age of 68. But here for example, if I say A nurser is too weak to ride a cycle, it is a simple sentence. How did I identify? Here you have only one finite verb is. Here you have only one finite verb is. So it is simple. If you are asked to change this into complex, you should use so adjective that. So adjective that. Weak is your adjective. 
n r sir is so weak so here to to gives a negative meaning so you need to add not you need to add not n r sir is so weak that he cannot ride a cycle complex always remember if you have he is in the sentence you get can that means present tense can past tense could now in compound a nurser is very weak that means in place of so you write very and you should add so a nurser is very weak so he cannot ride a cycle or therefore also you can write or you can write therefore also a nurser is very weak therefore a nurser is very weak therefore he cannot ride a cycle so or therefore anything you can use so now some sentences are given let us try to convert them into complex and compound your first sentence is what raja is raja is too selfish to help others raja is so selfish that he cannot help others so adjective that you know what you have so adjective that so this is complex form so this is what form complex form this is complex form so adjective that so this is complex sentence what is this complex what did you identify we have in pre, my in my previous class i told so adverb that or so adjective that next if you want to change this into compound if you want to change this into compound raja is very selfish so are therefore he cannot help others clear so now let us go to the next example what is the next example siddhu is too honest to steal anything siddhu is so honest that he cannot steal anything so add to that you have so this is a complex sentence so add to that you have so it is a complex like that you can identify a complex sentence next in compound what happens siddhu is very honest siddhu is very honest so are therefore he cannot steal anything this is what compound i think you understood how to convert a sentence in which you have t over to that gives a negative meaning into complex and compound so now what is compound over so next sentence what is the next sentence the sun is too hot for me to bear attempts to bear may be given or may not be given 
at times to bear may be given or may not be given this one is too hot for me so you have to add that to bear in such case so the sun is so hot that i cannot what bear complex so adjective that compound the sun is very hot so or therefore i cannot bear compound so shall we go for another example yes the mountain is too high to climb for whom for anybody for everybody for everybody the mountain is too high so you have to add that or we can say for us or we cannot climb the mountain is so high that we cannot climb for everybody for us clear so now compound the mountain is very high so or therefore we cannot climb next sentence the weather is too hot to go out the weather is too hot to go out so the weather is very hot this is also for everybody this is also for everybody so that so hot that we cannot go out what is this complex how did you identify in the sentence you have so adjective that now compound the weather is very hot so or therefore we cannot go out what is this compound clear so next sentence you see he is too intelligent not to understand he is too intelligent not to understand that means in the given sentence you have not so when you write complex and compound you should eliminate that not see he is so intelligent that he can understand it understood in the question you have not two nots already t over two one negative word not another negative word so the sentence should be a positive one he is so intelligent that he can understand it he is very intelligent so are therefore he can understand it clear let us go to another sentence he is too selfish not to let you down so same example like earlier one you have two negatives two negatives means what positive 
So he is so selfish that he can let you down. Clear? Because in the given sentence you have not, in the answer you should not write not. This is complex. How did you identify? You have what format? So adjective that format. Clear? Compound. He is very selfish. So or therefore he can let you down. What is this compound sentence? Next sentence. He is too dull for a sportsman. He is too dull for a sportsman. So he is so dull that he cannot be a sportsman. He is so dull because all sportsmen will be very active, not dull. So dull that he cannot be a sportsman. Complex. He is very dull. So, or therefore, he cannot be a sports man. What is this compound? Next. He is too lazy for an early riser. Sing. He is so lazy that he can be a he cannot be a an early riser he is very lazy so or therefore he cannot be an early riser compound so next he is too covered for a soldier he is so covered that he cannot be a soldier he is very covered so or therefore he cannot be a soldier i think you understood how to remove how to remove to from a sentence clear and the meaning of to when it gives a positive meaning and the meaning of to when it gives a negative meaning thank you for watching if you like my teaching subscribe to my channel English for all examinations. Have a nice day.